Do you know what G Fuel is? You will by the end of the video. If you're new to G Fuel and you're interested in trying it, this is the video for you. I'm gonna go over some flavors that you might wanna start with, some potential options like buying packets, starter kits, what shaker cup you should get, do you even need a shaker cup? We're gonna cover it all in this video. So we're gonna get into the flavors. That's what everyone's here for. Everyone wants to know what flavor you should get first. Let's talk about it. My shrine is a lot smaller because I took seven flavors that I really enjoyed that I think are wonderful starter ones. I'm gonna go ahead and go over some runner-up flavors though. Ice Shatter's back there and Noisy Butter's Starfruit is back there. Those are two fantastic flavors as well. So this is what I have for you. So we're gonna start with Sour Blue Chug Rug, which is actually almost empty. This, inspired by Faze Rug, is fantastic. It's a sour blueberry. If you like sour, definitely a flavor for you. If you like blueberry, give it a go. Even if you don't really like sour, I think you'll like it. If you think it's too sour, just put less powder in or put more water in. This is an OG flavor that I think everybody should try. Next up, Fruit Punch. I mean, you know what this is. You know what Fruit Punch tastes like, right? If you don't, you're living under a rock, man. This was my second flavor that I ever got. The first flavor I ever bought was lemonade. Second one was fruit punch. And I absolutely love it. This one as well is almost empty. This one I actually like to add a little bit more powder, a little bit more in the scoop. That way I get more fruit punch taste. Next up is hype sauce. There's not that many people that I know that dislike hype sauce. It's raspberry lemonade. If you like lemonade, try it. If you don't like raspberries in real life, Try it anyway, because I don't like raspberries in real life. And you know what? I like this flavor. I would say if you're into sour flavors, this one is not super sour. It's sweet. It's got a little bit of sour in it, but not enough to call it like a sour flavor. Since we just talked about some lemonades flavor, let's go ahead and do Shiny Splash inspired by A-Drive. This is a blueberry lemonade. It's a little bit of sour as well. I would compare it a little bit to Chug Rug, honestly. They're both blueberry. But this has the sour lemonade aspect, and Chug Rug is sour blueberry. So they're both pretty related, but they're different in their own respects. If you like lemonade, you need to try this one. We've covered some sour flavors, so let's talk about a sweet flavor. PewDiePie's Lingonberry, or the reskin called Floor Gang. Tastes like a lingonberry. If you don't know what that tastes like, Tastes like a berry, a sweet berry, not a sour berry, a sweet berry. I've done a review on this flavor, so if you wanna check it out, it'll be in the playlist that you're currently watching this video from. So just scroll up, you'll find it. I talk all about this flavor, it's really, really good. It's like one of my top rotations right now. Honestly, it's in like my top three. Pink Drip, another one that I have done a G Fuel review on. I actually got the collector's box on this one. I'm super happy about it. Go check out the review if you haven't already. But it's like a pink chewable candy. You know what I'm talking about? Like pink starburst. It tastes like a pink starburst. Can you believe that? Go get a pink starburst right now. Right now, if you have one in your house. This is what that tastes like. If that's up your alley, get this flavor. It's sour cherry. I love this flavor and I hate cherries in real life. I cannot eat a cherry. You know when you go to Sonic and they put a cherry on top of your shake? Nope. <laughs> Get out of here. I don't like it. I don't want it. Sour cherry, though, is so good. And I think it's because it's sour that I like it. And I put too much powder in because I like it sour. So I put like one and a half scoops. I know. I'm bad. I'm so sorry. I apologize to the, the G Fuel gods. But this is my favorite flavor. If you like sour flavors, please do yourself a favor. Get this. Get this the sour cherry. I promise you, you will not regret it. If you like Chug Rug and you've tried it already, please get sour cherry. So let's talk about it. If you like sour flavors, I recommend you get blue Chug Rug and sour cherry. I also recommend that you potentially think about getting Shiny Splash. No, it's not listed as sour, but it's lemonade. So yes. I recommend it. These three flavors if you're primarily a sour person. If you're more of a sweet kind of person, you got PewDiePie's Floor Gang, and you got Hype Sauce. Hype Sauce is a little bit of sour, but not enough for me to put it in the sour category. I would also recommend Pink Drip. This is definitely a sweet flavor. There is no sourness in this flavor whatsoever. If that's up your alley, if you like the Pink Starburst, this one's for you. And of course, the OG 
fruit punch. You know what fruit punch tastes like? A lot of people think this is like a watered down fruit punch. Just add more powder. That's my opinion. I think this is a phenomenal flavor. I love it. It's great. Okay, now let's talk about something else. What if you don't want to buy a tub? You don't want to knock out $35 roos because, I mean, let's face it, that's a little expensive. If you've never tried G Fuel before and you're scared that you're not even going to like this flavor, we got options for you. I'm going to pop this up on your screen right now, but it's a starter kit. It comes with a shaker and it comes with seven packets of G Fuel. Now you're not going to get the flavors that you necessarily want to try that I recommended, but these are the seven that they're including right now. You get Battle Juice, Bubble Gum, Phase X, Strawberry Banana, Strawberry Shortcake, Cotton Candy, and Nemesis Tea. Now out of all those flavors that we listed there, I have tried... A whopping zero. I've never had any of those flavors. I don't own any of those tubs, but it's a good way to get a shaker cup and it's a good way to try these flavors. Now honestly, shaker cups run about $9.99, so that's actually a pretty good deal because you get seven different flavors to try it from. But say you don't want to do that. G Fuel also has an option to buy packs. Now not every flavor is going to have a pack that's available. They sell out very, very quickly. So out of the ones that are available right now, you got strawberry banana, battle juice, strawberry shortcake, hype sauce, which is on my list, and rainbow sherbet. All the other packets are currently sold out. They do come back in stock, but right now you can get three packets of the five that I listed for $4.99 each. So you can get three packs of strawberry banana for $4.99. If there's G Fuel in your area, honestly, I would suggest trying a canned version. There's a couple different cans available. I'll link the website in the description down below if you want to check it out. But out of the ones that I listed here today, Sour Cherry is available, PewDiePie is available, and they have a Sour Blue Chug Rug can. So there's three of those that you can try out. And I'll be extremely jealous of you because I still haven't tried a G Fuel can. My friend ordered some, I tried a little bit of hers, I tried the Nemesis tea for like a brief moment, but I've never actually had a full can, so I might just have to order some from the site because there's like nothing in my area. If you buy G Fuel, I recommend using a code. If your favorite creator has a G Fuel code, I highly recommend that you use their code, save some money. If not, if you have Honey installed on your computer, it finds those codes for you and puts them on your order. Or if you're smart, you can just use code Duck. Duck's a fantastic creator if you don't know who Duckinja is. Check him out right now. I like, click off the video and go watch his videos because he's way more entertaining. He's like 500 billion times more entertaining than me. So use his code, support him, he's great. So now we talk shaker cups. Two shaker cups. There's a regular shaker cup and there's a tall boy. Tall boy basically is two servings. This was actually the first shaker cup I got because it was on sale for the same price as this when I first tried G Fuel about two years ago. There's a variety of shaker cups that you can choose from. They come in and out, they sell out, they get new ones, they make new ones, they do really cool things. So right now there's no tall boys available, but I'll pop some of this up on your screen. It's $10, basically $9.99 to get one of these cups. They got some cool ones, they got some glow in the dark ones, see through ones. Like I said, they come in and out, so if they don't have one that you kind of like right now, just wait a few weeks. They restock them, things sell out, you know how it is. This is a question though, do you need a shaker cup? You don't need a shaker cup. The scoopers have a little water bottle attachment, so you could fill it up and then just dump it into a water bottle with this little attachment that it comes with. You could do that, shake it up in the water bottle. There's nothing wrong with that. Have I done that? No. Would I do that? Probably not. I really like having the shaker cup. It's got the G Fuel logo on it. It looks super neat. I think it's just best to get a starter kit to have one cup. One cup. It's really cool. It prevents the ice from getting in your face hole, honestly. If you dump the, if you put some ice in here, this little divider stops it from like blocking G Fuel from getting to you. The seven flavors that I recommended to you are all literally fantastic to me. I love each and every one of them. If you guys want me to do like an in-depth video of trying all the G Fuel flavors that I have, tell me in the comments down below. I'm completely down to do that one day. I'll try them all, rate them one out of 10. Maybe that'll also help you. If you have any questions on G Fuel, comments down below. Hit me up on Twitter, hit me up in the stream, in the Discord, anywhere. Ask me questions. I love G Fuel, I love talking about G Fuel, it's great. If you guys didn't know, I used to drink Red Bull daily and I made the switch to G Fuel feel a lot better. So I highly recommend you make a switch if you're currently drinking an energy drink right now that's unhealthy. Red Bull, Bang, Monster, 
any of that. Make the switch. It's cheaper in the long run. Seriously, think about it. How much is a can of Red Bull? $2.79, $2.59, something like that? Like about $3 after tax? One of these tubs will cost you about $35 and you get 40 servings. And oftentimes you get more than 40 servings depending on how much powder you put in your cup. There's times where I've gotten 45 servings, even 50 servings. That comes up to less than a dollar. Saves you money in the long run and it's healthier. So that's all I have for you guys today. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Hopefully you guys consider trying G Fuel. And if you wanted to try G Fuel and you didn't know what flavor to get, hopefully now one of these flavors interests you. And if they do, tell me down in the comments below. Tell me what flavor you're going to snatch up. Tell me what you're going to try. Let me know when you get your G Fuel and what you think about it. Hope you guys have a great day. Remember, don't do anything stupid. Drink your water. Be good people. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye!